Oh, good morning. We're just getting back here on a Tuesday now. Just about to get started here. We've got a um, nine o'clock Risby this morning. Not Risby. Tough wait this morning at um, Pete Taylor and Sons Hazardous One. Just making the way out of this space. And someone walking down. Oh, that's a sign. <laughs> Get a gear. There we go. All right, let's get out of here and on to um, Roughway. My friend Gary in front of us. It looks like he's still in his pit. We'll give him a call in a little while and see if he's up. He's got the ten o'clock booking for the same place, so he's got a little bit extra time. We've got us there currently at five past eight at the minute. We do need to go get diesel though. We are on 19%. I was going to fill up at Risby Truck Stop down the road here, but all their fuel pumps are shut for the next couple of weeks. They're redoing them, so we, um, that's not ideal, but oh well. We'll um, hopefully make Rothwell and we can fill up in there. That can be the plan now, so let's get on with our day. Welcome back, it's Tuesday morning. Let me see the junction then. Pitch black this morning. It's foggy, it's quite cool, it's dropped temperature, which is why it's foggy. We read up yesterday and it's dropped cold now. We're on our way to um, Huffway at Mansfield this morning for a nine o'clock tip. Currently got us there at five past eight. around we're um, yeah we're up there for nine o'clock it's got us there at five past eight at the minute um, we do need to get diesel on the way so hopefully we can make Rothwell we've got 19% left so let's um, let's go see what we can um, do today We got diesel. We're on 10% when we got there. Fuel out probably just coming on. About 320 litres we just put in. Had to do it in two separate transactions though. It clicks off for some reason. I don't know why they do it at the pumps. But it ain't even like on a normal number. Like, um, you know, 500 litre or 500 pound. It's just on another amount that was 482 pound and it clicks off it's weird but oh well we managed to fill up we had to do it in two but oh well this is what it is isn't it we've got a full tank of diesel so we're all ready to um ready to go he's turning yep so let's get on the um let's do this next 71 miles towards um Puffway, it's got us there at half past eight at the moment, so let's hope there's not much traffic build up. site here just been told to uh, park up or park up next to this one on slant here this trailer here yeah we had to park up outside we got told to park up outside by a wagon driver 
We just didn't make life easy when there were cars everywhere, but oh, we've managed it. We're in. And we're sorted, so. In this round here. Hey, Gary, Gary's not too far away. He's about 15 minutes behind, so. I'll just tell him to come park up here next to me when he gets here. I think it's going to be the easiest thing. So we're on time, it's half past eight, so that's all good with me. I'm happy at that. I managed to get here on time. Watching it back, not perfectly in space, but that'll do. Oh, call that real warm one. 22 degrees here now, 10 o'clock in the morning. And on our way down to Felixstowe. We've got um, one out of there for a hazardous 11 o'clock um, Durham in the morning. So we'll need to run this as far as we can today to um, give us a fighting chance for tomorrow to make it in one hit. So I'll um, be asking for a 3 o'clock BBS. Um, I think we're going to have to try and run this as far as we can. We're going to be... It's going to be nearly 7 hours driving down there. Which is going to put us... Jesus, where the hell are we going to get to? We don't think we'll make Newark. Probably be looking at Colstoworth maybe. But even that's going to be a push, so... We'll have to see how far we're going to, um, and how we're going to get on today. We'll have to see what the drive down is like, and then assess it from there. So we'll um, we'll go see what the roads are like now, and I'll update you closer to Felix. Though. Hi, we just got down to Felix Stoke. Just pulling up here for a break. Just got to quarter past two. Just managed to grab me a three o'clock BBS, luckily. So we've been lucky on that front. So we'll get um, 45 minutes down here. Can get into the dock. Should hopefully have about three hours driving, like in a 10 hour drive. So we'll see where we can get to once we've got this box on. Things aren't quite going to plan at the minute. We're having to go down to Langard Terminal on the side of the port to get our container on, which is a bit annoying. We're hoping it will going to be from Trinity where we've just been. Um, probably not going to make Welcome Break at Newark now. We're back. Probably going to be tight to make Colsterworth as well. We're on three hours, four driving, less than a 10 hour drive. Um, Probably 20 minutes shy of Newark is close to us, so we might have half a chance making that. Should certainly get in at that time, be about six half six. Um, but we've got to see how long we're in here yet. We could be an hour in here getting the box on, so let's go. Um, let's hope that we're not going to be too long in here. And we're at the dock. Oh, we're a bit of messing about. We had to get box off at Trinity. We were parked for a break and annoyingly we got the box on at Langard and the snow bars didn't start indicating till late on. So yeah we've had to go down the other side of the port to get the um, container on annoyingly. Um, which hasn't helped us with a drive time. I'd have liked to have met Newark tonight but I don't think we're going to make it. Um, it's looking like Colsterworth tonight, so as far as we're going to get, and that's going to be a push. We're going to have to just go. They're just going to keep flying up onto that roundabout all day long because they can see all the way. But we are out. Um, yeah, it's looking like Colsterworth tonight, and that's going to be a push. We've got 2 hours 47 left in a 10 hour drive, saying 2.5 two, <laughs> two hours to Colsterworth. Um, um, we're gonna have to have a 
think about this annoyingly. I might have to lose hours on this. There's just nowhere else to park. We're not allowed to park anywhere between Risby at Cooper's Cabin, Colsterworth, everywhere is on ban list. So, you know, we have to park up and then jobs run late, but I'll have a think and see how we get on with the roadworks and we'll go from there, I think, can it? Just getting off at Colsterworth. Made up a little bit of time, a couple of minutes. We are on 9 hours and 42 minutes of driving today. We've got 18 minutes left. Let's have a look, we'll see from this hill if we can get in. Doesn't look like there's any room, looks full, looks busy. Um, the barriers are oh, there's some spaces in there. Oh, God, there's loads of room. Didn't even start putting in the overflow yet. We've got loads of room then. Oh, we're we're alright then. <laughs> we can relax and breathe now. Let's see where they want us to get parked. In here. Been in here a few times already on the videos, but never stayed the night. It's coming in from the A1 North, so the other side, this one. The parking around the front, even though the space is inside. Me. Just get busy in here. It's a very popular truck stop in here. Very, very, very popular. Slide reversing in there. She's reversing in, sorry. I'll just put fruit fuel pump just to clear the road. If someone comes in behind me they're going to be queuing onto the road so she's got all the room now. Have a word with this lad here. Evening. Morning. Yeah. What's time wait in the morning? Uh be about probably five o'clock. Okay. Yep. Alright, perfect, thank you. Go right and right again. I can put the side of the building. So we're going to probably be three hours from the job. It says daily drive time reached. Put it in. 15 minutes drive time. Nine hours 45. We've got 15 minutes then. Like, surely we've got 10 hours. We get 10 hours of driving. I don't think I've reached my drive-in. Carter done. Yeah. Bring it back a little bit. The once is on an angle to this one here, so... We're going to be on the corner, but it'll do us. It's busy in here. Yeah, that's going to be tight there, isn't it? For them getting out in the morning. I might shrink this back a bit actually on this. Perfect, this is us here. <laughs> That'll do us. That will do us. I can probably just about get out at this. But yeah, I'm happy at that. So let's see how far away we are from the job. Let's 
think we're going to probably be about 120 miles, something like that, 130. 381 1TN. Let's have a look. See how far away we are from it. Three hours and six minutes. So if we leave at five, six, seven, eight, have a break. We get there about nine o'clock ish. We should be all right on that. So yeah, so I'll go get off and book in and this video here and I will see you all tomorrow.